there's like a bald guy behind me. <laughs> He's like 100 meters behind me. And every time he comes close to me, I like run forward. I don't want him to, I'd hate for him to overtake me. That's the bald guy. That's the bald guy I told you about. I'm screwed. Bad news. There's no jam. So it looks like I'm just gonna have a peanut butter and sandwich. All right, so it's currently five to five, so it's 5 a.m. It's probably just easy to say that. And um, I'm about to go to one of my favorite um, hiking spots. It's called Cathedral Ranges. And I like leaving at 5 a.m. because it takes two and a half hours to get there from where I live. So I should get there at around 8.30, no, no, 7.30. I can't even do maths right now. And then I'll smash out a hike which takes normally like eight hours or like seven to eight. 18, it's like 19 and a half Ks or something, 19 to 20 Ks. But um, yeah, so that's why I'm, I'm getting ready at this crazy hour. But I feel it's worth it, so let's go. Oh, and um, if the quality of this video is a bit dodgy or whatever, I'm using my iPhone 11 Pro and I literally can't be bothered using my Canon M50. Climbing up there. See that ridge? <clears throat> yeah, I'll be climbing around that. Alright, well we made it. Good timing. It's uh 7 a.m. and um it's still dark as. So yeah, I'm keen as though. And it's um freaking two degrees. So should be good. And yeah, I know it's gonna be a bit like hard to see, but basically I'll be walking along that ridge line but it extends and curls that way so it's a fair bit of a walk yeah i think i mentioned before it's like 18 to 20 k's and that ridge line is like up and down up and down so it's really awesome and um yeah i think it's perfect to come here at this time even though it's a bit nippy right now yeah but uh, anyways where's the sun these days it's 7 a.m i thought it'd be up by now is it an eclipse today or something all right, so I just arrived at the campsite um, and that's where the toilets are and I just usually go to that toilet to take a dump because at four in the morning or five in the morning, it's, I guess it's hard to take a dump. But anyways, uh, it's a Saturday and I kind of should have expected that there's going to be people, but everywhere I look, there's just like tents everywhere. So I've got to gotta be quiet because people can hear me. So I can't fart loud. Like... Ooh. The toilets are over there. There's people everywhere. Okay, everyone, breakfast is ready. Hello, campers. Breakfast is now served. <laughs> So I got my water, this is like almost 2 litres. I was meant to go to um, the Shell petrol station, but it was closed, so 2 litres of water is good enough. 2 oranges, um, a peanut butter and sandwich, and a banana. I guess um, I should also pack an extra shirt because I sweat so much. So I'll probably just bring another t-shirt. Yeah, that doesn't smell like ass, so I think it's clean. Yeah, um, next time I come at like 7am, I'll bring gloves. 
I kind of forgot and my hands are freezing. See ya, have a good day. What's up, fam? Okay, so we made it to the other track. So um, I'm not exactly sure what it's called. Where are we? You are here. And then I guess we'll just jump up here to Canyon Track and then Sugarloaf Saddle is like the peak. And this is the, the ridge that I'll be walking on the whole way all the way up here. And then go to Little Cathedral Peak, come back around and then go all the way here. And my car's somewhere here. rock climbing eh? Oh she's a beauty. I'm not up yet but look at that fog over there. Oh that's so cool. Look at the water. Looks like the ocean or a lake. I could go up there now. So just do a bit more rock climbing and um, yeah it should be nice. Alright so I just finished climbing the peak. It's quite tough. But, yeah, it's always worth it, I guess. I'll show you where I am. Ooh. Jump up here for a bit. Oh, no. Couldn't do that with one leg. Oh, man. Nice. So I'll be continuing this little hike along the ridge. Like, all the way there. I get all the way over there. And then I come back down. And I think my car is like down here somewhere. So, yeah, my car is there somewhere. And just all the way up and down, up and down the ridge. Go for a little, little jog. Where am I going? <laughs> Oh, you can see the ridge now. Clear. So I'm literally gonna be going all the way up and down. All around. And then all the way back there. This is like my third time doing this hike. And I'm still getting lost. Like it's so hard to find the path. And I've just been like bush bashing for ages. And like I was, I came here in the hopes of um, beating like my time that I've set here but I've been lost for half the time so I guess I try, try to remember for next time so I can smash that so today I guess I won't be smashing this out for time I'll just be enjoying it and it's a pretty nice day so I'm pretty happy oh yeah part of the other reason why I'm not going hard right now is not only because I've been lost because I'm kind of filming this vlog and it'd be hard to smash this out as hard as I possibly can while trying to vlog it and I made up my mind I think this morning to vlog it because I haven't I haven't put anything on YouTube for like legit like six months and who freaking knows like after I upload this who knows when my next upload will be but I guess I, I like doing this stuff outdoors so it's kind of a given that I will be doing more of these. Can you hear that bird? That's so nice. I swear that like bird has made like 
a hundred different noises. Where is it? It's like, I feel like it's a lyre bird. Wait, let me see. I think it's a lyre bird. What's this? What's this? What's this? That's a lyre bird for sure. Because it's making more than like 10 noises. What's this? That's a lyre bird for sure. There it is, bro. How did I know? That's a lyre bird. Can you see its tail? Its long, fluffy tail. Look at that beautiful bird. Look at that lyre bird. Whoa. Just... <laughs> Just listen to it, though. What the? Alright, so we've arrived at some campground that's like along the ridge somewhere. It's called the farmyard. So we'll see who's here. Hello, I'm home. <laughs> Imagine just walking through a tent. Oh, it's funny when you walk past people, like on a hike, it's literally like you and them. And that's it. And some people don't even look at you and say hi. <laughs> Like, you'd think, if we're out in the bush, and it's me, and one or two other people, that you'd look at them, and they'd be like, hey, hey, we're in the bush, how great, but no, I don't know, <laughs> and yeah, it's easy to miss, it's like literally, that's the path, because that's like a wider path, and that takes me down, but I want to go up, because I haven't finished walking along the ridge, so it's, I need to go there, Little Cathedral via Ridge Track. So two hours, grade five. What's up, baby? But I only do the, the grade fives, but I only do grade fours. I don't muck around like that. Anyways, I'm going. <sighs> oh, felt good. Oh, all right. So the farm is there. I saw some dudes sleeping and I almost joined them for brekkie. And then we're going that way. There's like a bold guy behind me. <laughs> He's like a hundred meters behind me. And every time he comes close to me, I like run forward. I don't want him to, I'd hate for him to overtake me. That's the bold guy. That's the bold guy I told you about. Like, look, I let him overtake me because I'm vlogging. But if I didn't have my phone, I would smoke that dude, smoke him. <laughs> All right. This isn't really comfortable. I'm sitting on like a rock like this. My ass hurts because my ass is bony. <sighs> Cheers, guys. Oh, I can't. I can't drink it all. I gotta save it. I still got like I don't know, like eight k's. Whoops. The most painless lunch you'll ever see. Peanut butter and. Sandwich. It's so dry. I think this is a good idea to eat when you're like sweating and stuff because my mouth is already dry. Imagine putting peanut butter in your mouth with no jam and bread, driest bread on earth. I can't, I can't even chew this. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you will notice that like the, the higher up you go, the more like the plants want to kill you. Ah, it's like spiky ears. I've been stabbed like 200 times. Everything's just so rugged here. That's why I love it. Just like so different to what we're used to, like comfort and stuff. Here, you just, you leave, you know, a bit bloodied up and bruised and 
wrecked, feet hurt, back hurt maybe. You don't look good if you had makeup on. That's dripped down to your feet, that makeup. One thing that um that happens when I eat oranges for some reason is that my saliva gets really thick and then I can do I can do this stuff like Yum. Well, the the jump is off because it's not. Oh, my zip is a bit undone. Oh, I was flashing. I was flashing the um the animals. My pubes. Sorry about that, guys. And we are still going. It is. I left that. Uh, oh, it's been three hours. The thing with this ridge here, it's kind of like deceiving because you see it and you're like, yeah, sweet. And then you go over it and there's like 10 more humps. <laughs> but I don't mind that because that just means that I get to like hike more, you know? I'm just chilling here and I'm looking at what I've already kind of climbed and it's just that ridge all along there all the way up there oh is that tip over there so yeah a bit of a hike eh <laughs> I've been lost for like 20 minutes and I finally found the path but in order for me to get on the path I had to like swim through thorns like right now Uh, oh. Oh. I've been off the path for so long. Why? Man, every time I come here, it's like I get lost in different parts of the route. You know what I mean? Look what we have here. <laughs> Alright, so I've rocked up to this last little bit. Um, little cathedral. So it's just like, there's a peak up there. And that's it, and I, I have to make my way back here, and then go down. And that will eventually lead me down to like the bottom of the, the ridge, and then I'll walk maybe five kilometers back to my car. And it's uh, 11.40, so that's four hours. This is the last little ascent, if you can even see, because the sun's in front of the camera or whatever. <sighs> so we're going to smash this out. We're about to approach the other side of the ridge and like the last peak. And there she is in all the beauty. Oh gosh. I'm gonna have some water. I'm dead thirsty. Yo, it's one o'clock. I'm not, not even near my car. <laughs> I've been chilling. Look at this cute little river. Yo, that's gushing. Why, why water rafting, bro? That's so nice. I can feel that. Oh, crazy. This here's the best view of what I just did. So that's where I ended that peak. And I went all the way up these ridges. And then, maybe down there a bit. Oh wait, no, all the way up there, snap. Damn, and like it's been six hours. Man. Oh, it's been so nice though. Well, I can see the car park. I can finally see my car. There's the whole place. So it's um 1.40. So it's basically six hours, because I left that 7.30. So give or take six hours. Um, you know, just a typical day at the office. <laughs> now nah, it was so nice. I think halfway into it, I was like, "Yo, can I be bothered? Can I be bothered right now?" 
but I'm glad I did. I'm a bit sore. My feet hurt, my toes. What else? Oh, my back, I don't know. I just gotta like relax now. Maybe take a couple of days off. But yeah, it's always good to be out, like to get out here in nature and be alone. Cause I didn't really see many people to be honest. So that was, that was crazy. Mm -hmm.